Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome front living room fifth wheel from Coachman. And you guys might recognize this because this is the same exact brand that our friend JD from Big Truck Big RV has. This is a 2023 Coachman Brookstone model 344 FL. We are going to be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're going to give you three things we love about this Brookstone and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today I am super excited. We are here in Indiana at Open House looking at all the newest and latest fifth wheels, travel trailers, and motorhomes. And today we are taking a look at our friend JD's brand, the Brookstone. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Jen. Hey Jen! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. We're excited to take a look at, at uh, JD's fifth wheel that he has. We got the opportunity to see it when we went out um, to his ranch out in Texas, which was really fun. Yes! And while we're talking about JD, we do want to just give our thoughts and prayers with him. Um, if you guys didn't hear, he did have a heart attack recently. So he's still good. Yeah, he's still okay. He's still he's still making videos and, and everything, but we uh, we just want to give our thoughts and prayers. JD's a good friend of ours, and we just hope that he's on the mend and getting better. Yeah, should we show a picture of us with JD just yeah. to prove he's our friend? Bing. Oh, wait, no, we didn't take <laughs> oh, one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. The mystery wait. goes on. The mystery <laughs> continues. <laughs> Actually, we did take one. We're just not going to yes. share it with you guys. Um, and again, this isn't JD's floor plan, but JD does have a Brookstone. Jen, let's begin. All right. Model is 344 Brookstone. The actual tip to tip length is 42 feet 2 inches. The dry weight is 12,789 pounds and the hitch weight is 2,823 pounds. This is the Coachman Brookstone. It is Coachman's top of the line fifth wheel. Right up front here we have a very nice painted fiberglass front cap. Here we do have the Kurt pin box right there. And then coming on down here. Watch your ankles, Matt. Oh man, I'm going to roll them. Coming oh, wow. on down here, we do have huge storage, oh, nice. and it is prepped uh, for a generator. Okay. Hey, Jen. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of text. Oh, I'm getting a lot of text of people saying, um, hey, I hope you and your family are, are okay. Is the hurricane pretty bad? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, when you see the trajectory, right. it's like hitting my house right now. Right. They're telling everyone to evacuate. <laughs> well, I'm here in Indiana. <laughs> I've so. evacuated to Elkhart. Yep. All right, right here we do have propane. This does have six point electric auto leveling. Okay. You do have the prep for the Furion side marker lights, some power on the outside. And this is just a little bit of storage. Again, guys, listen, we wouldn't have had an opportunity to show you this Brookstone, but since it is here at Open House, that's why we're able to show it to you. There's a lot of compartment doors that are locked, which is just a little frustrating. Yeah. Right here we do have very nice power awning with LED lights. Frameless windows. Look at those big oversized windows right there. I know, right that's there. nice. And I like how much like covered camping space you have. Yes, and then right here we do have the Lippert solid steps. Okay. Coming on down. Look at these tires, Jen. They're the Sterlings. All steel. I love those. ST235-80R16 with the Road Armor Trail Air Suspension from Lippert. Nice. Right here, because it's Coachman, you can see that they do use Asdell which we love. You have the third AC optional, weather plus, heated and enclosed underbelly with heating pads on the tanks. And this is just such a great floor plan. And look, you can have another Furion side marker oh, nice. light right there. It's a big fifth wheel, Jen. Yep. Coming on down here, you can have TV and sound system on the outside. And then here, okay. not an outside kitchen, yeah, a but a fridge. Fish. Better than nothing, I guess. Hey, all you need is the beer to be cold. Yep. Can we get around there, Matt? It looks like a puddle. Here, looks like a puddle and wires. Here, and let me just... Right! Puddle and electrical. Think, right. All right, well, we got the power cord there. Can you tell the hitch rating? Uh, it's going to be a 300-pound hitch. You, you don't tell behind this. Right. And it is going to be prepped for a few around backup camera. Yep. Let's go on the other side okay. so we can get that. I don't like stepping in open water with electrical cords running through. Not as nice as the Thor display, just saying. Mm. No, just kidding. <laughs> just saying. Oh. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, we got it. Okay. Got it. All right, Jen. Right there, that's where you're dumping your tank. Okay. okay. The six point leveling, black tank flush right there. Again, with all the marker lights. Okay. Very nice. And then here is the other side of the oh, storage, cool. which you're able to see. All right, so kind of small. Now, I didn't see the water hookups, so maybe they were on the back and you didn't see them. That's weird. Hold on, let's go back. Now, there also is another dump, or did you, that's the dump you showed. So the dump is kind of underneath the slide. Oh, no, okay, so we've got one dump there and then one right, dump Jen, here. Come back here. Okay. Back here. Yay, water and power. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's, uh, I really love this. It's actually really clean. There's your water heater right nice. there. Let's get the heck out of here, yeah, Jen. Yeah, I'm Jen, scared. Let's give, the outside of this fifth wheel looks great, <laughs> but let's give a big shout out to Lippert as we walk in on the inside. This episode is sponsored by Kurt. There's a reason why manufacturers are all switching over to the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Jen and I went with the Kerr A16 fifth wheel hitch. Uh, this is perfect for our truck because we do have a short bed and it's on the slider. And it also makes it very user friendly with the red, yellow, and green symbols telling you whether it's safe to tow or not. With this hitch, it also, it wraps around the pin of the fifth wheel hitch so that it has the best connection and makes for the smoothest ride. This hitch also articulates in each direction so that you have much less chucking while going down the road. Making it a smoother ride and the best riding experience when yes. towing a fifth wheel. That's why Will chose the Kurt A16. That's why the manufacturers are using the Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Thank you so much for Kurt for sponsoring this yes, video. Let's continue the video. All right, guys. Dry my feet off so I don't slip again. Coming up here, we have your front living area. Very nice. Kitchen down here in the middle. Half bath there. Dining area. And then you have your bedroom and bathroom in the very back. Yes, ma'am. Where would you like to begin? Um, Let's start up, up front. Yes. Before we start up front, a lot of people ask about what Asdell is. Asdell is this green base material that will never delaminate on you. And you, you wanna know what? They probably have this in here because of JD. Like yeah. this actual demo. Mm -hmm. But look, this Asdell has been sitting in water and it's you see smart. how it doesn't absorb. Yep. Well, this is what Luan is. And over time, you see how it's the woody glue. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Asdell is more expensive. Asdell is better. Yeah, and it, it does help being able to visualize it like that. Yeah. Up front here, Jen, nice front living. Do you have a TV right there? Nice storage above. Very nice. Storage right over here. Can I lit up? Yes. Very nice. That drawer there. Okay. Nice. And then a little bit more storage here. Yep, sound system with a 36 inch graystone fireplace. And then right over here, we have a very nice, comfortable sofa. We do have privacy blinds right here and then miss jennifer valance test approved bing oh that's the jennifer valance test seal of approval and then both of these come out to make a bed and then this right here jen is the oh see this is the heated seats oh and massage yeah which massage don't do anything really right <laughs> Right, I feel like I'm sitting on a phone and somebody's calling me. Right. But these are very nice Thomas Paine theater seats directly across from the TV. And here's what I love about Brookstone. Brookstone is not the best quality in its class. Right. But it is a value leader mm -hmm. for everything that you're getting for the size and everything. It's just really, really nice. Yep. And then coming on down the steps, Jen, if you would, show us the kitchen. All right. All right, coming down here, guys. So first, we have like a little, I would say, coffee bar area. Yeah. Not quite big enough for a taco bar. Storage up here. Got the nice glass front. I love these buttons here. Yes, over the touch screen. Some drawers right here. And then we have some storage down below there. Over here, I guess you would call this like your pantry, probably. It's probably the closest thing to a pantry here. Very nice. All right, up here, we have some storage. And then down here we have a Everchill. Is this a re residential fridge? Yes. Um, looks like it. 
And then you have actually two freezer drawers. Yes, ma'am. Very, nice. Very good size. And coming over to the island here. Nice big island. So we got solid surface countertops. Wow. And a big one bowl sink. Yes. I like how they offset it a little bit. So you have like some space next to the sink. Nice pull down faucet. See, I even say nice a lot. Right. It's hard. What do you want to say? Not nice. Right. I need to like have a thesaurus on you. Right. All right, storage there. Some more drawers. Very great. And then up here. Coachman Brookstone. What? Sorry. Is Will trying to find us? No, uh, Jeff Plemons. Oh, cool. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> He's from Winston Salem, North Carolina. <laughs> He's our good friend. <laughs> And then here's a high point regular microwave. Very residential. nice. Residential. A little bit more storage over there. Yep. And then they give you a nice window here um, at your cooking area. Um, nice big four burner insignia cooktop and a huge oven. Turkey tested. Turkey approved. And then over here we have three more drawers. Nice deep one there. Very nice. Yeah, I think that's it, Matt. Oh, look, it's not it because there is a half bath right there. Right. Which, um, right. show everybody that sink, please. Okay. So we got a nice sink here, little medicine cabinet up above. Okay. It's a small bathroom. And then some storage down below. Yes, ma'am. Ready for that toilet test? You good? You gonna be able to sit? What is going on? It's porcelain! Wow, nice. Okay. I do not like this bathroom. Jen, this does not get the prime poop. Okay, it's Will. I thought that was something else. I was like, what I really wanted to say, this is the worst. I wasn't going to say this because yeah. somebody came in. but And I like saw him with my peripherals. This is the worst half bathroom I've ever seen. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Will, Dad, take a seat. Like, okay. you can't, I don't think you Oh, yeah, thanks, Dad, gives me wings! <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound like you need one. You're right. <laughs> All right, check out that half bathroom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good luck, Dad. This is worse than your bathroom. Right. It's like, you got this. You can't, yeah. You got this stupid thing here and this. They needed to angle it a little bit, but even oh, then, it's so small. Like your your knee would be out. Yeah, no, it, it is bad. It's really bad. <laughs> you ain't nothing but here. No. <laughs> That's a bad bathroom. Will yes. have a seat at the dinette. Yeah, this doesn't look good either, though. To be honest, we need to talk. Okay. Okay. I got an issue with you. Okay. <laughs> You're not doing a family dinner no more. <laughs> it's because we've only had two seats, but now we're at the fourth seater. Yeah. So now we can do family dinner again, a nice Italian right. dinner. Get your spaghetti. How do you feel? Donatello's. It's, it's like tight getting in. Like it's actually not bad this way though. How do you feel? I feel great. I, I think got, it looks yeah. good. I got plenty it's of space. Not the biggest dinette area. Yeah. Not the smallest. It's definitely doable. Yeah. And I do like the flush floor right there. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Continuing on. All right. Will and Jen take over the bedroom. All right. We're taking over. Go. Yeah, well, I, need, go. I, need, I need my wings. I got it. <laughs> This is a really nice big bedroom, though, it I must is. say. High ceilings. Nice, yeah, nice uh, king-size bed. Oh, you're right, high ceilings. See, a yeah. lot of times when they do rear bedrooms, they lift the bed to do storage underneath. Yeah. I like this. Yep. And I'm going to like the bathroom even more. But nice king bed, three windows um, around the headboard, and then you got storage in these three up top. There's the last one, guys. <clears throat> Let's see if there's storage under the bed. Sure is. Nice. That's Great storage. Bad. I love how high this goes too. So right. You're not so crouch down. Okay. And then Probably over here, nice. we got tons of storage. Okay. Four drawers, and Very then look nice. at that. A little closet. It's like a nice. this way closet instead of a that way closet. That, oh, that is kind of weird. Yeah. Not only that, Jen, I didn't even see this above. Even more storage here. Yeah. This is a huge bedroom. It really it is. is. Hold on, I just want to show because I don't know if people saw this that. Like the curtain rod goes this way, so oh, it's like you hang stuff that way. Yeah, just so you know. TV and back. And it's like here. that could be like shoe storage down there. Yep. So nice spot for a TV up top. Okay. You got a nice barn door here going into the bathroom. Oh wow! 
like oh, yeah. a stack of a washer and dryer in here. Jeez. Prep for it. Prep for it. Oh, okay, yeah, so you got. I mean. And if you don't need it, there's a lot more closet, closet space. Cool. Right. We doing the shower test yeah. now? Yes, guys, get in this bathroom. <laughs> so this is really what Will and Jen want in the bathroom. Yeah, you know, nice bathroom. Will could be using the toilet or the shower. Jen can be getting ready for the right. day. Mm -hmm. Plenty of space. I really yeah. like that. I agree. Let's see how the shower is. I don't think you're going to have a It's like a great shower. There's obviously plenty of head height, mm -hmm. but the width is great. You know, that is always a little bit narrow, but it's definitely still good. And you have a little seat in here. Definitely passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. Right. Jen, what do we got going on over here? All right. Well, first of all, tons of counter space. Yes. I mean, I've never seen this much counter space in a bathroom. And I like how they did. These are almost like residential sinks. Like okay. how big they are. So I like that. Very nice. Tons of like medicine cabinets. Oh, yeah. Storage space. I feel like I'm in like a freaking matrix with all these mirrors. Right. right. It's inception. <laughs> right. And then we have... Two drawers here. Yes. And some storage down below there. Very nice. And then over here, a little bit more storage and some copies for even more stuff. Now, Jen, I said a lot about that half bath, but now we're in here. Right. I feel like it's going to be a little better. Just a little. You know what? I don't even. Dad, sit on the toilet. <laughs> Jeez, you've been giving me the honors a lot lately. Well, this one. Right. Look at this. Spread those That's legs out. Right. Hey, we can now have Tijuana Flats again. <laughs> yeah. This is the primest yeah, of pooping is. positions. Bing, bing, Jen. If you don't, like Jen, huge. if you didn't make that the biggest one, I don't yeah. know what you've done. Okay. That is a phenomenal toilet placement. Yep. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We're just three people in a bathroom talking about toilet placements. <laughs> Hey guys, we totally forgot to give you the MSRP in this video. So I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that the MSRP on this unit here is $121,867. All right, and now back to the video. Buddy. Hello, Jeff Plamens. Hey, hey, Jeff. Plamens, say hello. All right, we're good. Jeff, you want to be in the video? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give people three things we love about this fifth wheel and three things we don't like about it. Jeff, what do we do first? Three things you like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First thing and foremost, only because it's right here. We talk about it a lot. I love the fact that the Brookstone and all Coachman's giving you Asdell. Asdell is the green base material. I absolutely love this, and I love the fact that they actually demonstrated here. That is cool. Um, and it shows you how good Asdell is against water because water sometimes happens on these fifth wheels. Yes. And so I really love how they give you Asdell. That's like number one. Will, like number two. Like number two, I didn't see everything, but... Hmm... Jen, like oh, number two. I like this big bathroom. Go right back there, there again, oh. yes. <laughs> this bathroom's absolutely fantastic. Oh, tons of space, tons of counter storage, kind of top space and room to just yeah. whatever. Okay, I do have like number three. Talk to me. I like how, um, even though it's a rear bedroom, rear bath, they did not raise it. It's so nice being somebody who's tall. Yep. You know, to finally see a bedroom where you don't feel claustrophobic. I love nice. it. Well, yep. that was actually going to be my third thing. Oh, good. That's three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. Okay. Jen, would you like to go first? Yeah, so kind of like the other side of what Will was just saying, because they didn't mm -hmm. raise this, there's not a ton of storage on the outside. Exterior, uh -huh. yeah. You know, that pass-through on the front was pretty small, and then you yep. don't have that rear storage because of the level of the bedroom and everything. Pros okay. and cons. That's just like number one. Jeff! You can't leave. Once you're in the show, you're on the show. <laughs> this like number two, it's gonna be this half bath. It's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Right. Um, Just remove that sink altogether, because there's a sink right, right here. You remove the sink, it's fantastic half bath. That's just like number two. And then, well, just like number third. Number three. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Okay, you go. I don't like how the TV's not on a television. Uh, yeah. I love the front windshield. I want that TV to go up and down, especially give us a great yep. view. Mr. Jeff? How we doing? Winston Salem? I'm doing great. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Can you hold this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to make the half bath into a bar. Yes. <laughs> Hang on. Well, guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are interested in this motorhome, in this fifth wheel, all you got to do is go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact tab. We're here to make sure you guys get a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience. And, Jeff, do you know who one of our partners is that sells this brand for our RV retailer? Yeah. Who? Uh, was it Tampa? No. 
Your dealership. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Bill Clemens RV. Bill, that's your dad. That's right. Yep. That's my dad. Yep. And so, <laughs> so <laughs> sorry, they're, they're, you don't even. <laughs> so they're part of the RVR family now. So if you guys want this unit, you can reach out to them or just go to our website, fill out the contact tab. Yep. Will Jen, anything you want to say? Yeah, okay. thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments three things you like and dislike about this Brookstone. Um, also, leave your well wishes for JD, like we said yes. earlier. And um, just thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. Guys, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.